Let's take a look at section 7.3, composition of functions. So we've been talking about functions and um, onto, one-to-one, one-to-one uh, -one correspondence, and, and various other concepts around functions. But we haven't yet talked about composition of functions. So if we have a function from domain x to codomain y, and another function from domain y to codomain z, then we can talk about the composition, which is a two-step process, doing f first followed by g, and we would write that in this manner, g circle f, which would go from domain x to codomain z. And the way it works, um, which you may very well be familiar with from other courses, is that g circle f of x is g of f of x, and that's for all x in the domain x. Um, so again, in terms of um, the terminology, we call that the composition of f and g, and the the first way that we write it, that G circle F, is how we say that with that little circle in between, which which denotes the composition, um, and that's equivalent to G of F of X. Um, here's a diagram that may be helpful to keep in mind. So this is something I wrote out by hand, but you can see a, a somewhat neater version of this in the textbook. But notice we go from X to Y to Z. Those are our sets that are involved in this. F is a function from X to Y. G is a function from Y to Z. And we can think of that or combine them with composition to get a function from X to Z. Okay, and so we just, the two-step process is the composition. Uh, it is very important, in fact, it's critical that the codomain for F be the domain for G, right? This would not work if the codomain for F and the domain for G were different sets. Um, so uh, that's important. And sometimes you'll see where maybe X, Y, and Z, those sets might all be the same set. Okay, maybe the real numbers or the integers. Uh, and that can certainly happen, and you'll see examples of that in the exercises. Uh, a couple of theorems that are mentioned in this section. Uh, one is that if F and G are both one-to-one -one functions, then G circle F is a one-to-one -one function. Um, and you can show that using the definition of one-to-one. -one. Um, in the textbook, they get into the proof of that. Uh, and the same thing can be said for onto functions. If f and g are both onto, then the composition is also an onto function. Um, before we conclude this video, I, I meant to say, and let me say it now, that notice the order there g of f, uh, or g circle f. The f comes second in that notation, but it's actually the function that happens first. So just to go back to this slide here, f is the function that happens first, and then g, thinking of it again as that two-step process, but in the notation, we write g circle f. Okay, and that, if you look uh, on the right-hand side of this diagram in the, the point that's in set Z, it's G of F of X. So that explains why F is written second, because it's closer to the X. So you first do the F of X, and then you take G of that. Okay, but it is something that... Um, you have to be mindful of. It's easy to, to 
to think G happens first because it's written first, but it's actually the opposite. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, we will, after this, we this concludes our chapter seven um, material for this course. We skip into chapter nine next. And so the next video will get into introduction to counting and probabilities. Uh, hope you found this video helpful. See you in the next one.